Ok, Clash, it's time for mess. Mrs. Bine, can I use the restroom? Ok, but hurry up, we're going to learn long division. Thank you. Oh god, I should not have eating Chinese takeout for breakfast. Oh shit. Okay, coast is clear. Now to pull and hit my vocal cords to sound like Mr. Skinner. Hello? Pulling and hooting my vocal cords hurt as fuck. Now let's get on with this. Attention students and staff of Friendly Falls Elementary School. This announcement is to notify that we are having a severe emergency lockdown. A man with a hockey mask was seen walking by our school with a rifle and a butcher knife. I've seen him through the window. Oh shit, he's coming to the school. Students quickly go under your desks and teachers lock the doors. Close your curtains and shut off the lights and electronics that may be visible in the dark. Stay absolutely quiet. The police, FBI, SWAT, military, Marines, and others will be here shortly. Oh no, he's in the school. Everyone. Oh no, he's in the office. I should you be able to the Ha 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 ha. That was so funny. Oh no. What have I done? The whole school is in a panic. I gotta go. Man, what are you doing in here? Uh, there is a serial killer in the office. Get in my classroom now. I'm sorry, but all the desks are taken. But you can hide behind the hold locker. Two hours later. Hello, I am a police officer that was called. I am here to inform you that was not Mr. Skinner on the intercom was a false alarm. This lockdown was not over because we are looking through the security camera files to see who did it. Everyone, stay in your position as we go room to room to find the person. One hour later. Come with me right now. Do you know why I've called you in here? Oh, never mind. Our cameras caught you coming into my office and telling everyone there was a masked murderer on campus grounds. Do you know that terrorized the whole school? I saw some kids in their classrooms freaking out with paramedics putting oxygen masks on their faces and putting on a spinal board. That's it. You are suspended for three months. And I am calling your mother to pick you up. No, 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 please. I'm so sorry. This won't happen never, ever again. Hello. Is this Mrs. Flanken? Okay. And Flanken made a fake lockdown that made the school into a panic. He is suspended for three months. Please pick him up. Thanks, bye. Your parents are coming. Are you angry at me, Mom? Angry doesn't begin to explain the damage goes to the school. I can't fucking believe you got suspended from school for creating a fake lockdown. Do you know that we've gotten you arrested? But I'm sorry, Mom. It was supposed to be a harmless prank. No. Harmless. Are you fucking kidding? You terrorized the whole school. They all thought there was a murder at school. When we get home, we will watch the news to see what the damage is now. Oh yeah, you're definitely standing. But... Today on Now Time News, a school was in a panic over a student falsely states a lockdown. Today, Friendly Falls Elementary School was closed due to a motherfucking brat breaking into the office, exclaiming the fake lockdown. We are live at the scene outside of the terrified school. Right now, we're live inside the deserted hallway of a school with three interviewers. First, is the principal of the school, now Mr. Skinner. Would you like to share your story? Yes. Ned Flemkin broke into my office while I was pooking in the bathroom and faked the lockdown, saying a serial killer broke into the school. Anyway, Ned Flemkin, if you are watching this, I changed my mind about your suspension. You are expelled from this school and will be given a restraining order from this school. If you step 150 to this school, you will be sent to prison. Now we have Shalia Lester, 
a parent of a traumatized third grader, now share your story to the viewers. Whether you are Ned Flack and you little prank gave my son seven post-traumatic stress disorder and now he's in a mental institution in a padded room in an oxygen mask and straight jacket and a neck brace and spinal board. He freaked out so much he made a compound from a stress fracture and is now powerless in the stretcher pose oxygen mask machine forever. He also has frequent seizures and has nine physical and behavioral therapists now because of you. And I just wanted you to know that you and your family what? will be paying That's a more than the cost of our home. Oh, 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 oh. You are in so much trouble. We always give a lot of fights and cry and give a lot of punishments now. Our family will never be the same. That's it. I am leaving now. Now we have a victim of the lockdown, Harvey Weinstein. So, Harvey. Tell your story. I was in gym class and all of a sudden the American went off and Netflix and faked a lockdown and I was so scared for my life. So Harvey, would you ever allow this type of behavior in your home? Absolutely not. Anyone who comes and fake a lockdown in my house will get a severe nosebleed and a bell beating. I am coming for you, Ned Flanking. Harvey, calm down. We could talk this out. Wa a a a a a a a a. I am sorry, but my TV is having major technical difficulties. Don't worry, we will be back shortly. And Ned Flemkin, you will be paying for the damages of the camera. I can't fucking believe that we have all these shitty bills to pay. You are in so much trouble. God damn it, fucking Chewbacca shit, Ned Flemkin. I can't believe you made a fake lockdown at your school. Oh fucking Jesus, Mary and Joseph. That's it. Time for another belt beating. No, 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 no. <laughs>